I wanted to talk about the work um, that the Network Startup Resource uh, Center has been implementing and their efforts to improve the security and the routing security. The uh, our organization is devoted to strengthening the infrastructure of the internet around the world. We have been working on education programs and one is the course on routing infrastructure and security operations. This is one of the courses that has been most successful and we are focused on protecting how the control plane of the router have been, how these are managed. And one of the key elements is the implementation of our PKI and ROA in order to facilitate valid validation in the network. During this course, the participants work on being sure that their prefixes have been signed. In addition to this, we have a series of training activities, of online training activities on BGP. These training activities are available in English, but we're working on the translation of these activities. But there are sessions on routing security, origin validation of routes using RPKI, and how to implement manners, and more than 150 videos on traffic related to PGP, from configuration and best practices through to multi-homing and IXP. So I strongly recommend you to visit the site in order to benefit from these materials. One of the things that we realized is that a large number of the problems we have today needn't be the result of the protocols themselves, but due to knowledge or understanding of the resources available. For example, the BGP prefix filter to prevent propagate Routing, inf routing information, incorrect routing information, or anti spoofing filters based on BCP 38 of IETF. We can also be using precise and updated information in the Internet Routing Registries, the IRRs, and in Peering DB. And now we can create valid ROA records for each prefix that is announced and to discard invalid announced prefixes. So all these are things that we can do today. And documentation is available in Manners website that has um, information on the things that we're doing to strengthen internet infrastructure. One of the other things that we want to make sure that we are doing is that today it is no longer necessary to say, well, I cannot do some of these things. So as from the end of the 90s, the capacity of doing anti-spoofing in routing hardware has been available. So we should be able to apply all these filters to all access interfaces for clients that have only one connection. Of course, if you have more than one connection, it is more problematic. But if you are at the end of the tree, to include prefixes there, prefixes there is very worthwhile. eBGP configuration for many vendors is quite permissive. In other words, if there are no guidelines for entry or exit, then the RFC 8212 recommends that the by default behavior should be to discard these. This is something we can include in our configurations. And one of the things that we are working on is that many operators require to have IRR entries in peering and in peering to be before the routes are propagated. In addition to this, the five RIRs, LACNIC, and all the rest participate in IRR, and we also have RADB, as well as other major operators, which are now 
have now been operated with their own IRRs. Now, the, one of the good things that we see today is that RPKI is supported by the majority of the major routing vendors. This is no longer an excuse. So RPKI is used by almost all or majority of the vendors. And there are also many validators, including M. L Net Labs, Ripe NCC, Mexico, and Cloudfare. So there are ways in which we can implement our RPKI deployment easily with these validators. All the RIRs support ROA signature in the delegated address space. So all these elements have now concentrated in order to strengthen our routing infrastructure. One of the examples we're working on at the NSRC is the use of RPKI in South Asia. And thanks to the exhaustive efforts and persistent efforts of one of the Mozilla OIE fellows, Mohammed Abdul Awal, who is in this pre presentation as one of the panelists, he has been working diligently in order to speed up the development of RPKI in the region. The graph you see on the right is the graph showing the development of these records and prefixes with their signatures that has been developed. We have examples from many countries in South Asia. We see in the graph on the right how things have evolved over time in this project. One of the elements that I like to highlight is that India is not included in the graph on the left because this would change the entire presentation. But if you look at the graph in the course of one month, India has signed, has increased. 10% the numbers of signed prefixes. This map shows the area and the type of work. Bhutan, for example, was the first country in the world to reach 100% of signed prefixes. And so far until yesterday, about 36 hours ago, Mongolia now also has 100% of signed prefixes and the Maldives Islands, there's only one prefix that has yet to be signed in order to reach 100%. So we have been working intensively on this. One of the elements that has made this so satisfactory is that thanks to the support of the Mozilla Fellows Open Internet Engineer, we have been able to have dedicated personnel working on this project. NSRC thanks the Mozilla Foundation for the financial support of these fellowships and the impact this has had in South Asia. We recommend to take into account that new engineers, new network engineers that seek support for interesting projects should really apply to these um, fellowships, you have the URLs here on the slide. To finish, NSRC is available to receiving any questions you might have on this project or also on any other issues related to education or promoting internet services at any time. So having said that, I'd like to finish my presentation. And if you have any questions, I'm at your disposal. Muchísimas gracias. Muy interesante. Tenemos un par de minutos Thank you. Para... That was very interesting. We still have a couple of minutes for questions. En la sección Q&A. You can write your questions in the Q&A panel. Aquí en la región podríamos utilizar Here algo. in the region, we could use el impulso este para part of this drive for the purpose of signing this. Well, is that a question you're addressing to me? Or is this a question addressed to all the other participants? A 
para todos, para todos. Para todos, well, sí. For all, for all. Well, to tell the truth, this initiative has to do, of course, with dedication. One of the things that has made this a success is having personnel dedicated to working with the different CCTLDs, as well as the organizations within the countries and those CCTLDs, like the providers and all those who apply for prefixes. So this, well, maybe we could develop a similar project in Latin America. It would be quite interesting. Bien, bueno, muchísimas gracias. All right, thank you very much.